Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. To get up, like the routine. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you what it's like being a little person in high school. But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below. And yeah, we're gonna get started. So a lot of people in the past have asked me, like, what it's like being the only little person in high school. To be honest, it's not that bad. But like, I don't know. A lot of people thought I would think something else, but it's also not that bad, especially. Where I go to, like, it's really easy for me. Like, you know, people actually know me who I am. They don't, I don't have to explain nothing to them. Obviously, that would be different if I went to a public high school. If I did, because if I did go to a public high school, I would have to, like, explain what I have. You know, I don't have time for that. Like, just know I'm short. That's it. Like, I don't have time for that. So, that's pretty much how it goes. Like, I would basically have to explain, but... At least on my public, like, my private high school, like, people know me who I am. And not only that, like, that high school I go to, like, they already know me. That's, which is the good thing. And also, not to mention, I filmed my documentary there, so they know now that I am a dwarf. So, that's pretty much simple. It's nothing unusual about it. I don't have people coming up to me in high school, like, asking me questions, actually, because they know already. And not to even mention, there has been some little people in the past that attended the high school that I go to, so... I really don't have an issue with that, so it's whatever. Like I just live my normal life. Pretty much, like everyone did just be normal, which is a good thing. Um, I don't have to like explain nothing to them. I, it's been really casual. Like there's nothing wrong with it, which I think is pretty cool, you know. But the only part I'm nervous is when I do go to college. Um, I don't know what the circumstances will be because you know COVID is still here. Um, if I do a certain face to face, I think. That'll be different because I don't do not plan to go to a private um college. Just because I just want to change. But I think if I do go to college, I would have to explain like yeah, I'm a dwarf. This yada yada, you know. But I'm okay with that. But honestly, nevertheless, I think you know, people have to adopt that little people do exist. It's not something that is new. I mean, imagine if the world was built with just only average sized people. This world would be very boring. I feel like when it comes to little people, little people bring, like, a spice to it. So, I think that's pretty cool. Um, if you guys don't watch, um, Dancing With Me, as she did, um, an episode where Brittany, um, you guys don't know Brittany, she's from Little Woman LA. But, I thought that was pretty cool that she added a little person in her series, but, let's not get off the topic. But, the point is that little people do exist. And, not just, like, dwarfism in general, there are other, like, different types of disabilities out there. I feel like if these disabilities didn't exist the world would be very boring and you just basically live in a world where it's just average sized people and life is not really about that so yeah but that's pretty much like how I live my life pretty much so that's pretty much how um me being a little person it just doesn't really affect me like that but this is the end of the video so that's pretty much how, re how I really adapt in high school being a little person so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.